This is a basic walkthrough of uh, the DJ for iPad and my forewarning is that I'm not some crazy DJ with mad tricks or anything I'm just walking through this software the app and um, just showing you some of the features so first off if you want to cue it to your headphones you're gonna need to pick up one of these at Radio Shack a Y adapter and um, it's five bucks and you want to make sure that it has a gold and a silver so that means that it splits the monos so you can listen to one in your headphones and then cue it up and then mix it in that's it <clears throat> So to start off, this is your wave form that basically mimics what's on the record and if I hold it down you can see that it zooms in and it shows everything in detail. Downside is when you let go it will shrink back. I wish you could get an option to actually hold it there so you can concentrate on where your, your bass is, your snares or whatever it is. Um, so to add a track basically is you just hit this button and it'll go into your iTunes and you pick whatever you want uh, and it loads it on Scales. Scales. this is your basic track volume your BPM pretty basic All right. and so what's kind of cool is you could pretty much set cue points, which I did. <clears throat> so when I when you zoom in, you could see that I set a cue point right here by hitting this. So now you could So if you wanted to throw two of them in there, you could still set the set, set the same cue point. And you can tell that it's off. This is 97, 104. If you hit this sync, it'll shoot it right back to 97. It'll basically match, so it's right on dot. So instead of having to like, with your normal turntables, speed it up and try to match it, you just hit that and it'll match, and you're good. So you could do your basically that's what it is and so you could also go in here and got your lows fix your mids your highs all that good stuff and if you want to mix you could basically just throw it over like that or you have an option to hit this arrow and it'll automatically do it for you and you could fix that setting in here to say the, basically your transitions the speed your duration so it could mix in longer if you want it to and that's that um, also if you want to record your whole session there you go you could just start your new recording and now it's recording when you're done stop it that's it there's a new recording it's pretty sweet um, see scratching I mean you could attempt to it's you just basically put down both of your when you, you can scratch like this and then when you want you can hold down two fingers and it'll automatically trigger your fader just like that so that's scratching and uh, see that's pretty much it that's a basic run through of it uh, overall I think it's pretty sweet for 20 bucks so if you're into DJing grab it I definitely think it's worth it